Hi, I'm Swetha Patel with Heal Veda Health. And today I want to share with you a little bit about the childhood and how that actually can manifest into an autoimmune condition and what you can do about it. I felt like just at birth, I was set up for failure. I was going through these different motions of life and there was no support and no love and no nourishment. And without these missing factors, I was going and guiding myself throughout my life using my own intuition. And I developed my reactions towards others and they weren't healthy reactions. And oftentimes I would be judged, I would be criticized. But when you've lived with a condition for so long, when you've dealt with pain for so long, when you've lived with the anxiety and the depression that comes with these conditions, it's inevitable not to develop an emotional dysregulation disorder and even having a nervous system disorder and having disorders that have to deal with your emotional aspect of life and how I learned about this was the way that I reacted when someone said something to me and it didn't resonate. A healthy reaction would just respond, question, ask them why. But the way that I saw myself responding in these situations was extremely healthy and seen as toxic by others. And when we have these conditions and we've lived with so much pain, it's almost reactionary to the point where, hey, why did I have to live with this fate? Why did I have to deal with so much pain? Why can't somebody see my pain? And it almost makes us react in the way that it's like, please see my pain. And people just don't see it. And when I saw these chronically low levels of invalidation from others because of my behaviors, because of these conditions, because of the pain, I realized that I had to heal myself from all of this because the way that I was presenting myself was not the way that people saw respectable. They didn't see it as someone that was honorable, but yet my disease was holding me back. My conditions were holding me back from my dreams. And I was determined to go after my dreams. I was determined to help people who live with these conditions day in and day out and are looking for solutions. And I was determined to help them. I went on a mission to over 40 countries to be able to find solutions that would help me settle down these conditions in a way that I can live a normal life, behave normally, and not have these reactionary behaviors that didn't serve me, not have these triggers that didn't serve me. And I noticed that the people I grew up with were narcissists, abusive, emotionally abusive, and I had to remove myself from those environments so I can then regulate my nervous system, regulate my emotional system, and be at peace with the chaos. I had to learn how to master peace in my life to the point where no one's external behavior could affect me in any way. And that is how I was able to reduce the effects of these conditions along with therapies and treatments and also help my peers and help them find a place where they felt like they belonged with their symptoms. They didn't have to fake who they were. They didn't have to act a certain way to feel accepted. I wanted everyone to feel that they had somebody. They had somebody who believed in them. And that's why I built Heal Veda Health, to be able to provide support and solutions at an affordable price and be able to reverse these conditions with better outcomes.